I want to tell you the story of the first two brothers as a warning about the power of sin. The first two brothers ever in the history of the world were Cain and Abel. Their parents were the first humans, Adam and Eve. And it says in the Bible in Genesis chapter 4 that Cain was a farmer and Abel raised livestock. And we read about what happened with them in verse 3. In the course of time, Cain brought some of the fruits of the soil as an offering to the Lord. And Abel also brought an offering, fat portions from some of the firstborn of his flock. The Lord looked with favor on Abel and his offering, but on Cain and his offering, he did not look with favor. So Cain was very angry and his face was downcast. So each brother brings an offering to the Lord. And Abel's sacrifice was acceptable to God. He gave God some of the firstborn of his flock. We don't know if this is what made it acceptable to God or if it was the condition of his heart. I'm sure that had something to do with it. But for some reason, Abel's sacrifice was acceptable. We also find that Cain's sacrifice was not acceptable to God. It may have been that Cain gave God some of his leftovers or just that his heart was in the wrong place, but God didn't receive Cain's sacrifice like he did Abel's sacrifice, and it made Cain angry. What we see happen with Cain is something important that we should learn, that sin starts with little compromises. It's really made clear to us in verses 6 through 7. Then the Lord said to Cain, Why are you angry? Why is your face downcast? If you do what is right, will you not be accepted? But if you do not do what is right, sin is crouching at your door. It desires to have you, but you must rule over it. Cain's problem was that he made a simple compromise. His sin may not seem like a big deal to you and I, but it was a little compromise. And as you see there, it says that sin was crouching at the door, that because he had allowed a little sin into his life, now sin was ready to destroy him. And sadly, that's what happens as we see how sin costs more than you think. That's certainly what happened to Cain. Look at verse 8. Now Cain said to his brother Abel, Let's go out to the field. While they were there in the field, Cain attacked his brother Abel and killed him. Cain didn't listen to God's warning. And as a result, sin grew in his heart until the point where he actually murdered his brother. I mean, this has only been five verses. In verse 3, we're introduced to these two brothers. And then five verses later, you've got Cain becoming the first murderer in human history. You see, what happened was he allowed a little sin into his life, a little compromise, and it ended up costing him more than he could imagine. Not only was his brother dead, but he was cursed by God and he was sent away from his family. The story warns us to examine our own hearts, to look at our actions and ask ourselves, where are we compromising? Where are we allowing sin to have a foothold in our lives? Sin may start small, but it's always going to grow out of control beyond what you could ever imagine. Go ahead and pause the video and discuss these questions.